Hello students, this is Nilanjana Sinyal from OnlineMathTutor.me and ePodashuna.com. Today we will be knowing about solving of simultaneous linear equations by the comparison method. So let's start. Now this is the question. Solve 6x minus 5y equal to 11 and 2x plus 3y equal to 27 by the comparison method. So step number one is we number the two given equations as equation number one and equation number two. So first of all, let us rewrite the two given equations. 6x minus 5y equal to 11. This becomes our equation number one. And 2x plus 3y equal to 27 is our equation number 2. Step number 2. We find the value of one of the two variables in terms of the other variable from the two given equations and number the two newly formed equations as number 3 and number 4. So we can either express x in terms of y or y in terms of x. Let us select x and let us express x in terms of y from both the two given equations. I am writing the first equation once more 6x minus 5y equal to 11. I am not going into the details. I am directly writing the final expression. So x becomes equal to 11 plus 5y over 6 and we number this equation as equation number 3 and from the second equation that is 2x plus 3y equal to 27 we get the x value as 27 minus 3y over 2. This becomes our equation number 4. Step number 3. We equate the right hand sides of the equations 3 and 4. Right hand sides. This and this. Since the left hand sides are the same. The left hand side of equation 3 is containing x. And the left hand side of equation 4 is also containing x. So the left hand sides are the same. Therefore, we can equate the right hand sides and solve to get the numerical value of the other variable in this case y. Therefore, first of all, let us write the right hand side of the equation number 3 and this is equated to the right hand side of equation number 4. And on cross multiplication, we get... 2 times 11 plus 5y equal to 6 times 27 minus 3y. And if we open the brackets, we get 22 plus 10y equal to 6 times 27 is 6 times 7 is 42, so carried over 4. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 4, 162 minus 18y. And let us bring the y term, this one to the left hand side. And 10y plus 18y will be giving us 28y. And this side will be containing 162 minus 22 that is 140. So we get the numerical value of y as 140 over 28. Let us cancel with 14. So it is and 2 times 5 is 10. So y value becomes equal to 5. Now the last step, step number 4. We put this numerical value of the other variable that is y in either equation 3 or equation 4 either in this one or in this one 
to get the numerical value of the first variable that is x. So let us take up equation 3. We can take equation 4 as well. So we write the third equation which is 11 plus 5y over 6. This is equal to 11 plus 5 times 5 because y is equal to 5 over 6. And 5 times 5 is 25 plus 11 is 36. So this is equal to 36 over 6 which gives us the numerical value of x as 6. So we write the answer x equal to 6 and y equal to 5 answer. So students, this brings us to the end of this session. Please give this video a like and share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more math videos every week. I am an online math tutor and I make math videos based on CBSC, ICSC, IGCSC and West Bengal State Board Math Curriculum. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.